So one of the exciting news for all the new hodlers out there is this new exchange which is coming up. The next ICO which is basically building up a decentralized exchange. So there's a lot of excitement for the people who are holding a lot of NEO because NEO is one of those cryptocurrencies which is also called Ethereum of China and a lot many people have been waiting for the ICOs and exchanges to be built on the NEO platform. So next is one of those ICOs which has been which has attracted a lot of curiosity and excitement in the community. Let's go ahead and find out what exactly next is. Uh, next is having their token sale in the month of April. They just updated their website with the token sale information. We're going to go through that and we will understand what exactly they are trying to do. So what I understand is they're not just building a decentralized exchange, which by the way, there is a great need of because we really don't want these centralized exchanges where, where the centralized exchanges are prone to regulations, uh, hack and whatnot. What about there was a decentralized exchange where you could ex exchange your assets for, for another crypto without giving access to someone else, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Welcome back to Crypto Conversation. My name is Shiv and this channel we talk about cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, blockchain. In case you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And also this is not a financial investment provider, just my personal opinion. And this is an ICO. Every ICO have an inherent risk when participating. So please do so based on your own understanding. So as you can see, the next is being built on NEO. So the first N of NEO and first N of next. And so they have just replaced D with N and calling it the next, which is a decentralized exchange on NEO. It says next is a platform for complex decentralized cryptographic trade and payment service creation, payment service. Uh, as you can see, they have released the token sale information. We will get into it before that. It says that Nix combines the NEO blockchain with an off-chain matching engine to enable much faster, more complex trades than existing decentralized exchanges, which are decent, which are Ether, Delta, and all other. The one thing that I found out very interesting about Nix is it is not just a digital exchange of digital assets on NEO like ether delta which is only an exchange platform for or uh, erc20 token the next also enables uh this the exchange of decentralized assets on other blockchains as well uh, for example erc20 as well so that was pretty unique uh, and maybe they going ahead they will be enabling other assets as well for example uh, bitcoin and whatnot so they they targeting they are targeting all the assets to be exchanged on the these decentralized exchanges which is pretty unique high volume it says next handles enormous trade volume through its unique publicly ver verifiable off-chain matching engine the next payment series enables third-party smart contracts on your third party to send and receive global assets such as neo and gas as part of the competition next handles complex order types that are not currently available on the other decentralized exchanges such as market and limit order so these are the two terms that you will see only on the centralized exchanges limit orders and market right uh, i'm not sure about the market market is also visible on the decentralized exchanges but limit order is something new which is going to be there on the decentralized exchanges so of course we will go to the white paper which is right here uh, but before that what is interesting that i found is you have the NX team, you, the advisory board, if you look at the advisory board specifically, not even the advisory board, the next team itself, you will have this face here, the Hongfei, the creator of Nino himself, or in fact, he's the advisor, sorry. So he is the advisor, on-chain CEO, Eric Zhang, advisor again, on-chain CTO. So both of these two prominent guys from Nino are on the advisory board of next as well so that gives a kind of little bit of credi credibility that this ico is going to do well and they have a proper team great backup uh so the road this is the roadmap uh what are your major goals smart contract examples token sale open launch law open source platform launch which is quarter one 2018 payment service launch quarter two uh, quarter three trading mvp releases q4 cross-chain launch and margin trading 
this is interesting by the month of december this year and then decentralized banking as well this is a very unique feature that they are going to add onto a decentralized platform which is very interesting so before that let's go ahead and go through the token sale information right so when you go to the token sale information which was which was by the way just got updated uh, they had mentioned earlier that we are coming up with the dates and everything now they have updated all those informations here it says the next next token sale will occur in april and will require contributions through the next extension or the token sale feature in neon wallet next will never ask you to send funds to any other wallet guys so it is going to neon wallet so i presume that it is only neo that you will that you can participate with so probably uh, it's not through your bitcoin or ethereum you have to convert that into neo and send only neo wallet because you're sending it to a neon wallet so keep that in mind uh, you have to have a neo in order to pass participate in this ico there are also some kind of lottery <laughs> also there so uh, to register for the lottery you need to register uh, you need to fill in your kyc again if you go to kyc kyc is an identity verification process that allows you to comply with the government and banking all users who want to contribute to nx tokens are required to go through this process depending on the final investment amount required information vary so if you are somebody who is investing a lot of money they might need more information but otherwise kyc is for everyone even for the lottery and uh, and uh, and uh, yeah so there is a lottery as well so first 25000 lottery winners are announced on our website kyc process opens for winners of the first lottery right so you have to go through a kyc so i would recommend in case you are going i mean you if you are going to go ahead and participate it's better to fill in the kyc form and get listed on the white list uh 14th April is when KYC will close for the winners of second lottery. Uh, the token sale begins in April. The date is still to be announced. The date it is in the April when they will announce that later on. Coming back to the token matrix, so here it is: two rounds of sales for a fair distribution, right? So the first is about maximum supply is 50 million. That's the total supply of the token. ICO sale amount is 25 million, which is priced at one dollar per next. Okay, which is right. So one dollar is equal to one next token. It says the first round will occur in April and last for approximately one day in the estimated block time. We will post the open and close block numbers prior to the sale. If all the next tokens are not sold out, then they will have a round two as well. Maximum contribution is about a thousand dollar in the round one, and up to nine thousand dollar in the round two. And also, the minimum participation amount is one neo. That means if you are participating as of today, uh, it shouldn't be anything less than a hundred dollar because neo is about hundred and ten, hundred and twenty dollar as of now. Uh, yeah so we accept neo and gas for the token sale yeah you can okay you can participate with gas as well so the price of neo and gas will be calculated to 10 day moving average on prices from the highest volume exchange at the time of publication of the token sale contract to the main net so this is how the to 50 million next token is split one percent here 4% goes to company fund, 10% goes to partnerships, Neo Council 15%, founders 20%, public ICO is 50%. That's amazing. So 50% goes into the development of the project and the 50% of the token goes to the public. So again, you can see they are very clear. Locked in a smart contract with slow release over two years. Right. Now, this is something that you need to have a look at now this one finds very similar to how Dico works uh, if you don't know what is Dico, so Dico is a new model for ICOs on Ethereum which combines the features of DAO model and ICO wherein the all the funds that is collected from the investors is locked into a smart contract and it is released as as and when they start building the project and it is a similar thing that's happening here the whole 
fund the, the entire fund is going to be locked into a smart contract with a slow release over the two years because that's the roadmap that they have the roadmap is there for two years so in the two years the funds will be released browser extension design and built with the users in mind uh, this is kind of a pictures of how it's going to look like total portfolio balance 100 new regimes right now let's go back to the white paper all right so here it is so a couple of features that they have added a platform for decentralized cryptographic trade and payment service creation uh, this has some certification as well or some of the name of the guys who are actually building up this is the team basically who are building it up introduction uh, of course the first one is blockchain and smart contracts decentralized exchanges so it is not just about decentralized exchanges you, on next you can also build smart contracts uh, and then you have the new blockchain and then you have uh, exactly new was launched in 2015 as the china's first blockchain recent improvements to the network have made it compelling alternative to ethereum for smart contract distributed application next will run first on NEO before later expanding it to support exchange on Ethereum. While the most of the ideas behind NEXT apply to both the platform, there are several major differences between NEO and Ethereum that are relevant to decentralized exchanges. Uh, consensus here, NEO on exchange, off-chain matching engine, and this is what I found interesting, centralized user accounts. This is an example of what happens if you hold certain next token you're trading on the decentralized exchanges uh, over here and then you have of course that's that's how it helps you in fee structure and then they also have payment service decentralized banking is again something new that they're adding a beyond Enabling decentralized NX offers a long term vision of decentralized banking, a smart contract based funds management service for assets on the blockchain. So it is a banking, it is an investment for your token sale, but it is taken all taken care of, not by human, but into a smart contracts. Of course, uh, they haven't uh, released as to how exactly that will work. It says the user buy assets from the conventional services, then interact with them on the new blockchain through NX, next smart contract. These assets can also be traded on next through NEP5 pairs. To enable cross-chain exchange, funds stored in the management contract have access to other services such as indexed pay in investment accounts or peer-to-peer -peer lending as well. So yeah, they, there are many more features that they are adding up, which is exciting. It is not just a decentralized exchange, but many more other feature uh, only time can tell once they launch it the things will look very simpler right now right now it looks a little complicated in terms of what exactly are they doing and how will it work but i'm sure once they launch the platform the things will look a lot simpler so yeah it is one of the promising ico that i do see they have a twitter handle as well uh, just 10 hours ago, ago they said the token sale information has been released so i thought uh, i'll keep you guys updated on that you can follow them on twitter account they have a telegram channel as well i guess so looks like a good ico on neo uh one thing that i do may want to mention that the icos on neo were not very safe uh last year you had an ico called apex which got basically hacked right and there were a couple of other ICOs also which did not have a great start on NEO. But I hope that they have NEO has resolved those issues and NEO is a much more safe and secure platform for more ICOs to come in. Right? People are looking to raise an ICO. They don't just want to prefer Ethereum. They also want to go for NEO. So if NEO can create that, build that confidence and trust in these new ICOs, there will be more, many more ICOs which will be building on NEO and so resulting in the growth of the price of NEO as well. That's it I have for you right now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know your opinion. What do you think about next ICO in the comment below? It's starting in the month of April. Again, this is not a financial investment advice. Just my personal opinion. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it is clear. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, give this video a like, share, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.